for this dragon, you can really use any paper you want. But here's some examples. Um, this one here is from a sticky note. And it was not that hard to fold, but it could be for some people. This one was from origami paper, 15 by 15 centimeters. Looks like that. And this one was from printer paper that I painted one side. So I made like duo paper. That's why it has this color change here. And it was like 5.5 inches. And this one too, only I didn't use duo paper for this one. I painted it afterwards. And I mixed brown with gold to make that color. And this is from a printer paper, um, 21 by 21 centimeters, uh, 8.5 by 8.5 inches. And it looks like this. So any of these would work. I even made a tiny one here. I think it was like three inch paper, metallic, Gold Chiyogami, duo colored. And that was, the paper I used was too thick, so I had to actually peel it into two, peel it in half. Yeah. Put a comment if you want to know more about it, but that's how I made it, otherwise it would be too thick. And one more thing, this was how the original model looked. Before I added the legs, it was like this. And this one was from a sticky note, so these are both the same size. Now let's make it. In this video, I'm going to be using this. This is the same size I used for this one. And it's printer paper. So the first step is you're going to fold the diagonals and these two um, um, half midpoints. You're gonna fold in half four times. And um, let's see, what you, we'll have the white side up. And fold in half. Unfold and fold in half again. Now unfold, turn over to the colored side, and now fold the diagonal. Unfold. Now with the colored side up, you're going to fold each of these corners to the center, like this. And do the same thing with the rest of these. I don't think my square is that perfect. Now, this is all gonna be white, and the inside is colored. Now we're gonna make four rabbit ears. And if you don't know what that is, you have to fold this edge to this 
I mean this edge to this edge and we're only going to crease we're going to crease it until it meets this diagonal here like this and you see I only creased it up to there now unfold and repeat on this side so edge to edge and only crease up only crease it until it meets this diagonal unfold and repeat on all the other corners Okay, so those were the pre-creases for the rabbit ear folds. Now we're going to actually fold them. So all you're going to do is make fold both of those and this diagonal. And every fold should be a valley fold. So like this, and then like that. Now, you, you don't really fold it. I'm not sure which way you have to fold it right now. So just leave it sticking up and repeat on all these ones. And on the colored part, they'll all be mount folds. So don't fold it, don't make it lie flat with yet. Now we're gonna make some more cre pre creases, so turn it over. Remember these here, so don't crumble those. You can maybe unfold them. And we're gonna make an angle bisector right here by folding this edge to that crease. And only creasing it up to this diagonal again. So fold it. And what you can do is only crease it up to here where this point is. And if you do it like that, when you unfold, you'll see how much folded that. That it only goes up to the diagonal fold. And then repeat that three more times. See how I'm unfolding these? You can actually do that. But then make sure to refold them again after you do those pre pieces. Now we're gonna make like a um, square base, just like the crane. This model is based on the crane. So fold these and then the diagonals. Well, only one diagonal, like this. There. Now we're going to make a bird base. Well, with these extra flaps right here, these four extra ones. So open this up and grab onto here and push it in. Just like the traditional crane or flapping bird. Now you can take this and fold it down. You could have done that earlier, but I wasn't sure which way we're gonna do. And repeat on this side. And make sure to make 
increase this part too. And then repeat on this side. Like this. And then we have a bird base with these folds. So as you can see, here are the wings. This is gonna become this little square right there. These are gonna be the wings. These four little tips are gonna be the legs. And these are going to be the head and tail. But first, let's um, make some more angle bisectors and thin down these flaps and some parts of the swing. So we're gonna lift up one of the layers. If your paper's really thin, you could probably do two. But just one and fold this edge to this edge and this part. Increase it sharply, especially if you have thicker paper. Now I'm just going to leave it folded. You could unfold it, but now um, move this layer like this and do the same thing to this part. So lift one layer and fold it to this crease. Unfold or fold. You can do whatever you want there because these are just pre creases. Now repeat the same thing on this side. So fold like this, open it up. So this is really like the flapping, not the flapping bird, the, the traditional Japanese crane. And then it looks like this. And these are still pre-creases we're doing. Um, you could unfold them now. Unfold all of what you just did. Not this part. Um, now we're gonna sink these. So let's start with this one. You're gonna take this flap and open it up. And you see these creases that we made here? We're going to make all of those mountain folds. Some of them are valleys, and um, some of them are mountains. Well, one of them is a mountain, like that. And then we're gonna make all of these inner folds. Well, not all of them. We're gonna make these folds here, valleys, and then one mountain right there. And that'll make it collapse like this. And that was an open sink we just did. There's also something called a closed sink, but that's not what we want to do here. We're gonna open sink all of these. So now open this one up, and we're gonna have to change these top creases because those won't collapse correctly. And I think we're gonna change the diagonals too. So first make these two mountain folds. You can see that. This and that. Make those mountain folds. And then where this crease intersects this crease, a little touch, right at that point, Make a crease starting from there to where this intersects this. And it should be one crease that goes straight across. And then we're gonna make this center part a valley fold. Then we're going to take this and push it in. Not along these creases that we just made. We'll be making some new ones. Like that. And then 
model will look like that. You can see. You'll look at it like that. Now we're going to repeat the same thing to these two flaps. And then we're going to repeat, repeat all of that to this other side. So first let's do these. I'm not going to show it again. If you don't remember, you can rewind the video. There's that. And now we're done with this side. All those flaps sink. We're gonna repeat everything to this side right here. Okay, now it looks symmetrical, as you can see. Now we're gonna do some little things to the wings, shape them a little more. So take one layer, lift up one layer, and we're gonna make a crease that starts from this point all the way to this crease. That's even supposed to be there. See there? Oh, I don't think you can... Okay, so that crease is like an invisible, it's like a dent. It's not even a crease. And it's not supposed to be there, so... I guess I can give a reference like this, where... If you hold all the layers together and you lift up the leg... Right to that point. So from there to there. There should be a little dent if you're using, like, maybe Kami or printer paper or something. But I don't know if it's always there. So make that crease look like that. And then we're going to make a crease from this point to that point. And then there will be another crease around here that will automatically come when we collapse it. So like that. You can see. Like this. And then... 
flat so it's going to be flat and everything and crease it. And then, it'll be easy, we're going to make from this point to this point a valley flat. Like this. And there. Now it's almost, already kind of looks like a dragon wing, but we're going to shape it more later. So repeat everything on this side. So you see it's not perfectly symmetrical, but oh well. Now we're going to just fold this. Now that we made this, now we, since we made this wing, now we know that this has to be the tail and this has to be the head. So let's fold the tail up. You can adjust this later. We're going to be shaping the legs, so these have to be out of the way. You can always push it up or down or later. So it doesn't need to be perfect yet. And now, this is pretty easy. Oh, one more thing. Everything is going to be colored except for this part of the wing. That's going to be white. Just as I said with this one. Unless you're using duo paper. I mean, non-duo paper. So now we're going to fold the feet and shape the legs. So, I don't know, just randomly fold that over. No real reference points or anything. You can adjust it later to make it stand if you want to. Unless you're gonna like hang it somewhere, something like that. Then it doesn't really matter. Now if this doesn't stay folded, what you can do is outside reverse fold it. Or I'm not sure if that's the word. But you're gonna you can like turn it inside out. But that'll make the feet be white. But if you paper is duo, only if you paper is duo that'll happen. So if it's not duo, it won't. So you could... I'm just going to show you how to do it, just in case if you're not using duo paper. What you're going to do is... kind of hard to get on camera. Lift up this flap a little bit, and then spread out the two layers, like that. And what we're gonna do is bring this layer to the other side. So we're gonna have to um, reverse this point, push it in. Here's where I can use this tool. Push it in a little bit. Pretty hard to explain push it in and reverse the point. Really help you get this. It's easy to tear here too. I think I just tore it totally. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, but that was pretty hard. I tried it on this, this big one, you see that? Maybe you can comment below if you really want to see that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, well, unless you're using different paper, I guess it might. Now what we're going to do is make a melon fold about there, no reference again, and then fold it back. That's how you make the back feet. Repeat on this side. And you can try to line them up as best as you can. Oops, I'm off camera. There we go. Now we have the feet. And it just happened to stand perfectly. Now we're gonna shape 
Uh, let's sink this point. Well, let's squash this point. So what you're gonna do is make a crease from this point to this point. Now Nor Valley. Whatever you want. Unfold, and you can actually reverse it. That might make it easier when you're actually doing the squash fold, spread squash. So now we're going to take, open this, and push on that point so it squashes. It squashes like this. And you're using those pre-creases you just made. And if you do it correctly, um, you should have a good square like this. Perfect square. Well, maybe not perfect. Now you can just shape that so that it goes over there for the head. Maybe you need to do that for the tail too. Now we're going to just make the head. So this is super easy. One inside reverse fold here. And then fold it back. It looks like this. Easy as that. Now we're going to make the wings, which is, in my opinion, probably the best part. So, you're going to make a fold somewhere around there. No reference again. And pleat it. So make another fold really close. Something like that. This is not perfect. You can make this go to this point or here. Whatever whatever you do, you do whatever you want. And repeat on this side. Finally, we're gonna make some curved folds. You can tell that usually means we're about to be done. You can also just look and see. So make a little curved fold there. And pinch this. Just make a little point there. Like that. Now we're gonna make a curved fold here and a curved fold there. I'll show you a little better. From this point to this point, we're gonna make a curve like that, and then from this point to this point, a curve like that. And it looks like this. If you want, you can make a little curve right there, but I'm not going to do that. Then just repeat on this side. And then it looks like this. And at this point, the model is totally done can spread out the legs to make it stand. Doesn't, oh, does stand, okay. And there you go. You can try making a tiny one like this if you want. This wasn't that hard to fold. I'm probably gonna make an even smaller one. Maybe with tissue paper or something. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you have any comments, leave those down too. And if you folded this, I'd love to see it, so please show it to me, and I'll see you in the next video.